Let's make a line in GIMP. First we'll open. This is GIMP 2.10, the latest and greatest when I made this in May 2018. Just opening it doesn't get me an image. I need to go File and say New. And I want this to be a number line. So it's going to be wide and short. I get a nice layer with a white background, which I can make disappear if I like. Or I can set this to be transparent and clear. Now, I want to see the grid. This won't show up in my actual image. So I click View Image, and then I go over to Image and say I want to configure that grid, make it a little bigger, four times as big. And horizontal and vertical are tied, so they switch together. Now I need to make me a new layer. You want to make new layers for basically everything. This will be line. And I'm going to put my line on there. Let me go to the paintbrush. And I want to make it a little skinnier. And when I click on a tool, it opens up things to do to that tool. So now I'm going to hit the mouse, hit shift. Let go of the mouse and move, and it will be a nice straight line. And then I'm going to put my arrows and I'm not worried too much about precision, but undo is my friend. I also want to be able to move things around without moving extra around. So I'm going to select a rectangle. And selecting is really important to understand. GIMP will work in what I've selected. If I want to go back to my brush tool, it'll only draw in the layer I'm working with, and it'll only draw in the parts I've selected of that layer. So I've got that layer. And I want to crop it. And now, I'm going to say move the active layer. And I can move that around wherever I want it to be. Now I'm going to make a new layer. Actually, I'm going to make a new layer group. Okay. And in that, I'm going to make a new layer. And for the little marks. And now I'm going to go back and say select all because I want to be able to write anywhere. Then I'll fix it. And I am going to move this back down. And now click back on my layer, back to the pencil, and make me a hatch mark. Ooh, that's not straight. Now, I can also say, let me zoom in and see this a little closer. So, I can say, and now if I say, I don't like you at all, I want to erase you. That's right next to the paintbrush. And it will only erase on my layer, and it will only erase where it's selected. Let me go back to the brush. Be a little more careful. And now I want to take that and select it by color. And then crop to that. And now what I can do is make duplicate that layer five more times, say. And then, and it's going to move, I'm going to let it pick a layer of a guide, because then I can move these guys. And I can also make a guide, so I can see I want these guys to line up. I'm on the move. And put these guys wherever I want them. And 
And the last thing I'm going to add to mine is the text, and that makes its own layer all by itself, so I don't need to remember that. But I do want it out here, so not inside that group. And that says 32, that's a good size. I want it black. I can say negative 3. Click here for negative 2. I can say, oh, I want you to move. Now this is where I do want to make it move the active layer. So that is how we make those little things. And what I can do is make different groups. So I can change the numbers. I can put letters in. I can change the size and have it all in one file and take this whole group and say, go away, and make it appear again. It's very flexible and fun.